Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. We're updating our RTX system, and the, I'll tell you the reason why. Um, you know, these new super graphics cards, you know, they're getting more and more, um, they're putting out more and more heat. Heat is becoming a bigger issue. Um, Intel is, you know, trying to battle AMD by throwing more voltage at chips. And so heat is just becoming a bigger concern. So in the case we were using for the RTX, which was the Fantex P300, one of the biggest restricting factors was that the air could only come in here and here. These are the only two places air can come in. And the total amount of filter media in this particular case is this, the smaller than my hand. And that's what all of the air has to come in through, that tiny little bit of filter media. Um, the other somewhat restrictive thing was uh, there's only one spot for a fan in the top, as opposed to uh, the case that I'm about to show you, which has two. That gives us more flexibility. It doesn't mean we're going to put two fans there. We only put as many fans as are necessary. You don't want to overventilate a case because then you wind up with excessive dust. So. Out with the old, in with the new, let's talk about the new. Okay, so we're back now talking about the RTX, but we have the new RTX here. You might say, well, these don't look the same. So what we have is the base RTX over here. Um, this is what you would get if you just left everything set to default. You'd get this system. And then over here, we have a maxed out RTX system with the fanciest graphics card the water cooler with the RGB lighting and, um, you know, all that stuff. And so, and, you know, there are, there are iterations in between here. This is just one end of the spectrum and the other, but um, we do give you a lot of options on this system. You can get it, for instance, a water cooler without RGB lighting. So all you would see behind here is sort of faintly see a couple of fans back up in there. Um, the reason we went to this system, as I mentioned before, is we wanted better airflow. So the entire front here is air, air can flow through there and it acts as a filter. And then there's also down each side an opening, and we'll see that in a minute, where air can flow in. And then in the top I showed you on the previous RTX, we could only fit one fan. As you can see, I only have one fan in this system, but I have the ability to put another one here, and I could actually put a larger fan if I, if I think that's necessary. Now, wh when I say necessary, you should only ventilate as much as necessary. Um, Overventilating a case, the more airflow, just tons and tons of airflow, you, you can do too much. And what you end up with is excessive dust buildup. So there is a proper amount of uh, airflow for each case. And, you know, again, it, it's on a case by case basis, no pun intended there. Now, um, up, also up here in the front, you can probably see a little bit of this at least. We have two USB 3s, a power button, headphone, microphone, and a reset switch. This front panel does come off easily. And then you could take it like outside or somewhere and clean it. Um, or you could just simply with the computer off, use a brush and just brush the filter media off. Uh, but it's pretty easy to pop that back on. Yeah, I think that snapped on there, right? Oh, we didn't get that one corner. Um, and anyway, you could just brush it off, just do it with the computer off so you don't suck that dust in. And um, so this system is set up for a lot more airflow. Now let's take a look around at the side next. Okay, so here are the sides of the two systems. Um, these you know, do look a little bit different when you look at the side over here. We've got, this is the, has the RGB water cooler. So you see we have the, the water block there with some RGB on it. By the way, that RGB lighting can be completely disabled. It can be set to a single color. It can cycle colors. There's a million different things you can do with it. Um, so if you don't like it, you know, it can be turned off. Um, also, you'll notice on this system, there's not near as much lighting. There's a little bit of light, a little bit of red showing through. But these are uh, smoked side panel, so almost like having tinted windows in your car. So you just get sort of a hint 
of what's inside here. But in here, there's the radiator for the water cooler in front, the little hoses running over to the pump. We've got the graphics card right here. And then over on this system, where you don't have the water cooler and don't have as much lighting, same thing, we've got the, the video card is here. We have the air cooler right there. You're seeing the top of the air cooler and um, you know not as much lighting over on this side. Now let's talk about the specs. Very similar to what we had before, but I'll always say look at the printed word on the website because if I make a small spec change on one of these systems, I don't want to reshoot this whole video. So make sure you do review the printed word and make sure that something coming out of my mouth uh, isn't different than what is printed on the website. Um, we're using DDR4 3200 RAM in here, which is really fast RAM. We've got all the new RTX cards are offered. We have i5s, i7s. We offer air cooling, as I've talked about earlier, water cooling, or water cooling with RGB lighting, which is what you've seen on this particular system. We've got a 700 watt power supply. Maximum system draw is around 350 to 400 watts, and power supplies are most efficient when they're utilized at 50% utilization, so we're really close to 50% there when under full load. Um, got a terabyte of SSD space, not one of those deals where they give you a little dinky SSD and then a mechanical hard drive. I prefer for customers to have one large boot drive, like a one terabyte, and that's what we're talking about here. And this is where I say check the printed word. Who knows, I might change this to a two terabyte at some point. Uh, we've got the latest enthusiast chipset from Intel, the Z390 chipset. Um, we have wireless AC, which is really fast Wi-Fi. What am I leaving out? Um, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, review the, the specs online and, um, you know, peruse those, but I think I hit most of the high points here. Got a two-year warranty. We have real tech support. We have a real human who's about 50 feet away from me on the other side of the wall who answers the phone, can remote into your system um, at, the, at the drop of a hat pretty much. And um, we pre-install TeamViewer on your system, which allows us, if you open the door, for us to log into your system and uh, view it remotely and see if you're having trouble. Again, I stress, you have to open the door. We can't just remote in any time that we want. So there you go, there's the updated RTX system, basically the same system built in a different case for better airflow, and then we're offering some uh, RGB options since we have that uh, sort of transparent front panel.